welcome. This is the last weekly update of 2020. We got Beeks and Mark here today. Uh, we're going over the winners and losers in the net lease retail sector uh, for this last year. Um, going over the first winners of this year would be mainly pharmacies. Obviously, a very essential use that we saw a lot of investor demand uh, go after this year. Uh, people were actually overpaying more than what this product was trading at uh, prior um, in Q1 of this year, as well as you know later part of 2019. So actually, for a recent comp, we got a Walgreens and Goodyear that sold for roughly 9.35 million at a 5.82 percent cap rate. It's at roughly 15 years on the lease uh, with 10 percent increases. Beeks is going to go over the next winner for 2020. Yeah, really anything with a drive through was taken off this year and a trend that was really starting even before the pandemic was smaller footprint drive through stores. And uh, that was really, really uh, shown in the coffee sector. And we've covered Dutch Bros uh, ad nauseum over the uh, last year, but another concept here in Phoenix that's doing really well and working on some similar lease terms is Human Bean. Uh, really great coffee there as well. Uh, one in Phoenix traded uh, this year at a little over 2.1 million. That one at a uh, more aggressive return than you're seeing with some of the Dutch Bros, all the way up at a 6.18 cap. That one also had 15 years on the uh, triple net lease, 10% increases every five and uh, four or five year options. So just like the Dutch Bros lease there for human beings. And then uh, Mark's gonna jump into the losers. Yeah, so the big loss for this year was anything that was deemed non-essential for a long time. Uh, we have these, obviously saw a big drop off for casual dining. Uh, so let's think about your Red Lobsters, your Olive Gardens, uh, your larger footprint restaurants. Uh, we just didn't see a whole lot of transactions happen uh, in that sector this year because of uh, them not being open. Uh, Beats is going to go over the next uh, type of tenant that uh, didn't do so hot. Yeah, a similar one there that was shut down uh, because of the government's response to the pandemic or uh, the gyms had been sort of a, uh, a great option for landlords looking to backfill some big box space previously. Um, obviously one of the uses that uh, did not look so favorable to governments when we first uh, entered the pandemic world. Now we are seeing a lot of them open up here in Metro Phoenix uh, throughout Arizona. Uh, other states not as much, but we will see where gyms go moving forward. Yeah, that covers uh, this last weekly update of 2020. We look forward to seeing you guys in 2021. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.